new, who's first time here? All right, and I want to welcome our Girl Scouts. In order to turn this into this, I don't add anything at all. What's the opposite of add? Subtract, Subtract minus, take away. See this brown sweet sticky stuff? It's in there. It's in there. You just can't see it because there's so much water in there. So I need to subtract the water, get rid of the water, take away the water. And when I get rid of the water, what I'm left with is this. And how do I get rid of the water? I take this sap and I cook it and cook it and cook it and cook it for a long time. All that water evaporates. All that water goes up into the air in a big cloud of steam. And what's left behind gets thicker and darker and sweeter as that sugar concentrates. And we end up with maple syrup. Now, I was a kid continuing to cook this, and I cooked it so long that all the water completely evaporated out, and there was no water left in it at all. Would it still be a liquid? No. What would it be? Solid. It'd be a solid, yeah. And what you end up with is sugar, and that is pure maple sugar. And today, before you leave, you'll all get a little packet of maple sugar that we made here, and you'll get to taste that. All we have to do is go outside, look for a tree covered with these, and we found a sugar maker, right? Wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. What? It's, fall. it's winter. All the leaves would have fallen down. Well, that's useless. we got to find something else that's on the tree all year round. What's on the tree all year round? What are these things? What do you call these things on the bark, on the tree? Branches. branches. It's the branches. That's what it's called. Okay, so we're going to identify by branches. Now, most trees, if you go out in the forest and you look around, most trees have branches that grow like this. There is a main branch. There's a twig on one side. You go up a little, there's a twig sticking out on the other side. Go up a little further, there's a twig over there. And then there's one on the other side. The twigs alternate from side to side up the branch, or I call it zigzag branching. It's alternate or zigzag branching. Most trees have twigs like this. There are very few trees that have a special kind of branching. Now, there are a lot of shrubs, small bushes that have this uh, branching, but we're talking about big trees, and there are very few that look like this. What is different about the pattern of branching here? Right here, yes. We call that that opposite branching. If there's one on the right, there's one right next to it on the? Yeah. If there's one on the top, there's one on the bottom. bottom. They're a lumpy, a little bumpy, kind of stumpy. So if it has lumpy, bumpy, stumpy twigs, then it's an ash tree, and it's probably dead. If it has skinny twigs, it's a maple. But remember I said there's a bunch of different kinds of maples. So the next thing we look for are the things that are at the very tips of the branches. And what do you call those things? They're going to open up, they're going to be flowers, they're going to be buds. Very, very good. The buds on the sugar maple are very tiny. They're pointy and they're a little bit purplish. So you know what I call them? Don't work with your hand in the pocket. So you can come over this way a little. There you go. go right there. Good. Keep your hand on there. Don't keep letting go. Hold it. Yeah. Press down with that hand and hold this one. Go around and around and around. This is a sugar maple. How come? I think get off me. I'm good. So what we have here is our evaporator. And let's here, so we use this as our evaporator and we run it on propane just like you might run a propane grill. 40, 40 gallons of sap to one gallon of syrup. That's <laughs>